Hey friends, Allison here. I am back again to share with you a new Traveler's Notebook layout. This is prompt three in the Pieces of Me series that Ellie Edwards did back in April. Um, I'm just scrapbooking it now. I am recycling a photo that I've used previously in my scrapbooking as well. Um, I think it ended up in my December daily and it was smaller than this photo. I printed this photo at three by eight inches and then popped a little chipboard sticker from Ellie Studio over top of it. That page is done and now I'm working on the second page. This is a double page spread and on the second page I used my Cricut to write the number 03 and then a quote that I searched for on Pinterest. Um, I can't remember at the moment exactly what it says. Something about um, doing a beautiful job of dealing with some heavy stuff. That's paraphrased. I won't say the actual words, end quote. Um, you'll see that at the end of the video, uh, just in case it's offensive to some people. If it is, don't watch to the end. I completely understand and my feelings will not be hurt if you don't watch to the end. I did use a black marker just to mark the edges of the little pennant that I'm adding to my layout right now. It has the title on it, which is Face Forward. I'm also going to add another Ellie Studio chipboard heart to the little title banner as well, or pennant. I'm using all Ellie Studio products today. Um, this is all from the January kit. I pulled out one of the three by four journaling cards and typed and printed my journaling onto it. At the very bottom of it, I'm going to add an acetate heart, which is actually from an older collection, also Ellie Studio. Uh, and I'm going to use some red line tape to adhere that to the bottom of the journaling card. It does show through the acetate, but it actually gets hidden by the chipboard tag that I add at the bottom. On that chipboard tag, I'm going to half stamp a subtitle and then use another chipboard sticker from this particular sticker sheet um, to complete it. Here's the acetate hearts that I was using and there is the red line tape that I adhered to the back of it. It's hanging off the page just a little bit. I do trim off the excess when this page is completed and all put together. I'm going to use black ink to stamp the phrase in this. Um, I used alpha stamps that I have in my stash. And then once that's done, I'm going to add a chipboard phrase from Ellie Studio that says together. I stuck with a purple and gray color scheme for this layout. Purple is not used often enough, especially in my scrapbooking. And so I thought this was perfect and I was so happy to find an acetate heart in the same shade as purple as I used throughout the rest of this layout. That's it for me today, friends. This layout came together super quick and I love it. Thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed my video, please give me a thumbs up and a like. And if you'd like to see more of this series, I'll have it linked in the description box down below. Bye friends. I'll see you again soon.